Hello, welcome to the Art Classroom. This is lesson 18 and today we're going to look at painting with foodstuffs or condiments. So I'm just going to take a tea bag right now and add some warm water to it uh, just to make tea. I'm going to do the same with a tablespoonful of coffee. Add some warm water to it just to make a coffee paint as well. And I'm just going to pour out some soy sauce into a little jar and some beetroot into a jar as well, some beetroot juice, it's kind of vinegar and a tablespoonful of turmeric and have a jar of cold water. So trying out this selection you can see that it gives a wide range of colours um, it's really great for uh, skin tones. Um, you've got the turmeric and the beetroot and the tea and then the skin tones and the coffee and the soy sauce will help with shadows. We'll use the paper for the white. So I'm skipping the drawing out stage but it's always the same. I'm looking for shapes within whatever I'm drawing and I'm wanting to define them and find the outlines first. So with all paintings I'm just generally treating this the same way where I'm working with the lighter colours first and I'm adding in darker tones as I go along. Um, the reason for this is because it's a lot easier to put a black on top of a white than it would be a white on top of a black. I'm making sure that I don't cover any white highlighted areas that are supposed to be white and letting the paper shine through. Uh, if you struggle a little bit using a colour image, um, I would advise you to maybe start with a black and white image. That way you'll be able to see the tones a lot easier. So generally paintings start to come alive as you can see whenever the, the shadows start to get added in. Uh, because you can then see that contrast between the dark and the lights. But all that work you've spent on uh, creating those mid-tones uh, will pay off in making your painting a lot more subtle. And speaking of subtleties, I'm using cold water here just to dilute the colours down a little bit. Uh, just give me more variation on those colours. And that's it. Try it out and please share. Happy creating!